YouTube and happy Vlogmas Day 17. Today is going to be another day in the life type vlog. As you can see, I'm being super lazy in my Darth Vader sweatshirt. I've got these fun little sweatpants on and my slippers and I don't plan on changing out of them at all today. So that is wonderful. It's another one of those days where I just don't really know what we have on the agenda. So we're just going to roll with it and see how it goes and hopefully it's not boring. <laughs> okay so like I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs we do still have these gingerbread house kits that we haven't made yet. I promise this is coming in a video. I don't know if it's going to be this video. I don't know. I know we need to get those gingerbread houses made but things have just been so crazy like literally just so insane with the amount of Christmas parties and things that we have had to go to and get ready for especially when you work full-time and then you have to come home and then get ready and then go out again for the Christmas party it's just it's insanity so I have been super busy wrapping presents you can see we have quite a few of our presents oh one of the bows fell off that's what you get when you buy cheap dollar store bows they tend to just fall off and they don't really stay on there I was gonna film some of the wrapping for the presents, but then I realized if I did that, if any of my family members or friends watched this vlog, then they would know what I got them for Christmas. So that's why I didn't film myself wrapping, but that would have been a fun little festive holiday vlogmas, but eh, it is what it is. All right, I've got my laptop. I think I'm going to pop into my office to answer some emails and get a little bit of work done this lovely morning. So that is what I'm doing right now. I almost forgot, I actually went to my PO box the other day just to check my mail. I go about once a week or maybe once every week and a half just to check my mail over there. It's a little bit of a drive. It's like 15 minutes from where my house is, but I love having a PO box. And I got a package from one of my viewers and she's also an author. Her name is Jennifer LeBlanc and she sent me her novella called The Tribulations of August Barton. And I absolutely love the cover of this. I think that's so, so cute. And I'm just really excited to read this and she even gave me a fun little bookmark. So thank you so much for sending this, Jennifer. I love, I love getting letters. I love getting little packages in my P.O. box. And I do think one day if I do get enough of them, I will kind of do a P.O. box sort of unhaul and just open up the packages and the letters, not necessarily read the letters on my YouTube channel, but just you know, open up the packages and the letters and things like that because that just sounds like such a fun thing to do and I think that would make such an awesome vlogmas video. So may have to wait till next year but just a really cool idea. But I do want to say thank you so much to Jennifer for sending this to me. I'm really excited to read it and I think you guys should definitely check her out. Again her name is Jennifer LeBlanc and if I can find this book on Goodreads then I'll go ahead and leave it linked in the description box below. And while we are on the topic of books I did want to mention my current read. I am currently reading First Life by Gina Showalter. I know the book's not in here but I always take it out and then keep these nice little dust jackets somewhere where they're not going to get ruined or stained or anything like that. So the book I think is in my bedroom right now but I'm currently reading this and I'm loving it so far. I love Gina's writing. I feel like it's so witty and clever and I'm loving the dialogue between the characters and the things that have happened so far. So I'm really enjoying it and I think I'm really going to like it. I just need to find more time to read. Between filming all of these Vlogmas videos, I am struggling a little bit with actually sitting down and reading because if I'm not filming, then I'm editing and if I'm not editing, then I'm uploading. So, or answering comments, which I love doing all of it. It's super fun. I just haven't had as much time to read. And I may or may not have been playing Final Fantasy a little bit too often, so. Yeah, I think Final Fantasy is kind of cutting into my reading time, so I'm going to have to manage that a little bit better in the future. So once I finish reading First Life, I am going to read The Tribulations of August Barton. So excited to read that. And then once I finish that, I'm going to go ahead and be brave and read Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas because I am behind. I have Empire of Storms. I just have not read 
this behemoth of a book because it is absolutely massive, but I'm so excited to read it and I really just want to dive into it. I think it's going to be such a good read right around the holidays. So I'm hoping to start it right around Christmas time. I think it'll just be a perfect, perfect read. I must be really hungry today because all I can think about is food. And I was just answering some emails and now I started looking at Pinterest and looking at new dinner recipes to make. And I've really been craving Italian food lately. So I found this Parmesan chicken bake and it just looks so good. It's from allrecipes.com and it just looks so good. It's done casserole style so there's no breading or frying but it still has that irresistible combination of tender chicken, crunchy cheesy coating, and flavorful sauce. So I think I'm going to give that a try. It looks like it takes 15 minutes to prep, 35 minutes to cook, and so total time is 50 minutes which should be perfect. And I know Jonathan loves Italian food, so this should not be a problem. So I actually got out of my comfy clothes today to do a little bit of shopping and now I'm driving home, but I will show you guys what I got once I get home. Also, how cute are these sunglasses? They're Woody sunglasses. Jonathan got them for me as an early Christmas present and I'm just loving them. I think they're so cute. So I just got home and there was a package on my front doorstep. So I'm gonna do a mini unboxing or little unhaul for what's in this bag. Alrighty, so let's open up this guy. So I bought Jonathan and I some onesies from Skyline Wears. His is in gray, and mine is in this really cute red Christmas print. I saw them online on Amazon, and they were just so cute. If I can find the picture, I'll insert it somewhere here. But I just love the way they looked. I figured it would be so perfect to have onesies for Christmas morning when we're opening up our presents and just something to kind of veg out and relax in all weekend. So I'm really excited for these. I need to wrap his onesie before he gets home. I think I might wrap mine too. I might try it on and then I might wrap it just to make sure it fits, so. And then I did go to the container store, which was super fun, and got a couple of things. So this is just gonna be a stocking stuffer for Jonathan. It's called a Chipolo, I think. Tag it, find it. We're always losing the volume remote control, always. Like every single night it gets lost and it's black, so all of our furniture is black and it's really hard to find it. So this will actually make a sound and let us know where it is. And I think he's going to really, hi Macy. I think he's really going to get a kick out of this. And then I just bought these little stocking holders that go on your mantle right by your fireplace because our stockings keep falling down. Also got these from the container store and I'm really excited to try them out. I love the way the candy cane stocking holders look and they really do work. Some of these are really full and so they're still holding a lot of stuff. I really like them. Literally, this might be one of the best purchases I've ever made. It's so comfortable. I don't know if you can come see it. I look so ridiculous, but I love it. Oh my gosh. This is by Skyline Wears. I'll leave the link in the description box below. It is so warm and soft and cozy and I love the design. Anyways, I love this. I wish I could wear it right now, but then Jonathan's gonna be like, oh, why did you get me one? And I'll be like, I did. You just haven't opened it yet. And I'm back in my Darth Vader sweatshirt. Ooh, hi Lacey. I'm gonna sneak into the guest bedroom to wrap these before Jonathan gets home. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I just made this Parmesan chicken bake and I'm so excited because it looks so good. I'm gonna open your present because of what you told me about yesterday. Yeah. You, well, since I get to open one, you wanna open one? Yes. Yes. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, open it. Strange sounds. Strange sounds. Oh yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> it's the ring I wanted. How does so it fit? Perfect. Cool. Perfect fit. 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So we're instant gratification people and it's really hard for us to wait until Christmas to open presents. When things come in, we just open them. We're saving a couple of things. But he gets to open his present since he just gave me these. This one. Yeah, you get to open the big one. Oh. What I really terribly wrapped <laughs> because it was too big. And there wasn't enough toilet paper. You can my seat. There wasn't enough. I just said toilet paper. There wasn't enough yeah, wrapping yeah. paper. That sounds like it's so obvious there's a planet on it. I was like, he's totally gonna know, know what I this is. I accidentally looked at it. Yeah. Um, well, I looked right at that. And I immediately knew what it was. Planet. I, I didn't mean to look at it. But as soon as I did, I knew. So this is mm. what the telescope looks like. It's so cool. Oh, there you go. I knew there was a piece that we <laughs> couldn't yeah. find. Yeah. Lacey enjoys the boxes. That's your Christmas present. Just kidding. Just kidding. I got you a little something, but you can't oh, have yeah. it yet. Okay, well, there you go. And this, this Titans loosens it. Look how well my fiance knows me. He got me this Tiffany ring. He got me this like a scroll notebook thing that's like super like Harry Potter style and there's pages and they're like parchment pages it's so cool they got me a digital voice recorder because I'm always talking to myself and when I'm on the go I need to just use something to record all my thoughts and ideas and ramblings and then he got me this really cool quill that's like a real feather it has real Quill ink, is that what it's called or is it just yeah, called? It's ink. So it says it's a calligraphy dip pen. Yeah, it's like a real quill because I've always wanted to learn calligraphy and now I can. So excited! So there's supposed to be a meteor shower tonight and that is one of the reasons why Jonathan opened his telescope early and also because like I said, we're just instant gratification people. And we like to open things when they get here. So we are actually going to watch this meteor shower with his new telescope. I just came upstairs and we always climb out this window like we're children. And then it's perfect because the roof is like perfectly sloped so that we can sit there and it blocks out the street lights. And then we can look through the telescope and look up at the stars and see stuff. I'm so excited. And that will conclude Vlogmas Day 17. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye!